Hello my viewers and welcome back to another video. Today I will show you how you can set up uh, your TP-Link Archer 550 from your browser. First of all, let's uh, log in. You can do that with the TP-Link ID or just log in with a password. I have already made the setup, but I can show you again. After the end of this video, you can check uh, and the video that I made unboxing viewing the product and the internet speed. Quick setup. Select your time zone. Next. Profile name. By default, PDB type, APN, username and password are empty. Authentication type. And next. Smart connect. You can enable or disable that. Enable the Smart Connect, that means you will have only one network. Disable, you will have the 2.4 and the 5 GHz, two different networks. You can enable the network, disable both. I prefer to have two networks. Next. Success. Next. And here we can see all the data again. Next. Congratulations! Network set up successfully. Enjoy the internet. Okay, thank you. And again, I can log in with my TP-Link ID. Basic. Internet 4G+. Refresh again. We can see internet the name, the status, IP address, DNS. 3G, 4G, SIM card status, the signal, ISPS, network type, data, upload speed and down speed. At this moment, the speeds are not good because I have my router on a position <laughs> that it is so slow, the internet. But as I mentioned, you can check my video after the end of this video uh, testing uh, this router. You can run a speed test. The history. Archer MR550, we can see the wireless, the guest network, mesh device, nothing, perfect. Let's go at the internet. Here we can see the mobile data, 4G preferred, you can choose 4G only or 3G. And we can see the provider's settings, wireless. The same, you can adjust the wireless settings, one mesh, this is basic settings, guest network, allow guests to access each other, allow guests to access my local network. You can enable guest network, hide the SSID, change the password, the name, whatever you want, and save. Parental controls, enable, disable, content restriction. White list, block list, add a new keyword and save. Refresh, add. TP-Link Cloud. And here you can add your TP-Link account and access remotely uh, your router. Moving on, add the advanced. And here we have so many settings. We can see there are 3G, 4G, IPv4, IPv6. 2.4, 5 GHz, the LAN, IPv4, IPv6, the guest network, 2.4 and 5 GHz. Operation mode. Please select an operation mode, 3G, 4G router or wireless router mode. And save. Network, Internet, more options. Disable mobile data or enable, the same for the data roaming, the NAT, choose here the network mode, band, network search, you can choose anything of this, ISPS upgrade, new ISPS upgrade, pin management, pin for the SIM card, enable disable, auto unlock pin, and save. Data settings. Totally 
51 gigabyte, okay, data limit, choose megabyte, gigabyte, the percentage, mobile data statics, send the test message, disable LAN settings, wow, <laughs> okay, and we have the MAC address, IP, subnet, IGMP, second IP, DHCP, more and more client list i will change the name and the password and later we will see more clients about 30 devices from my home dynamic dns login to tpling account more settings here static uh, routing add delete ipv6 tunnel enable I'm just showing you all the settings, what you can do. USSD, SMS, Inbox, no SMS, new message, choose the phone number, write the content, send or save, Outbox, Drafts, SMS settings, enable, disable, the message header, wireless, wireless settings, again smart connect, enable disable, and we can see uh, the name, the security, version, encryption, password, mode, channel, channel width, transmit power, low, middle or high, for the five, different settings on the channel and we have the 80 WPS you can turn on uh, the WPS router pin or client pin generate restore wireless schedule wireless off time add from to every day selected day cancel save statistics advanced settings beacon interval rts threshold dtim interval group key update period more settings one mess i don't have uh, a mess right now i need the second device guest network again the settings for the guest network not forwarding boost enable disable alg virtual servers you can add port triggering you existing application DMZ enable disable UPnP parental controls QOS settings add by application database new database upgrade security firewall and DOS protection enable disable no Service filtering, access control,
add refresh block IP and MAC binding. IPv6 firewall. Enable. Disable. Add. VPN. Open VPN. Save. Generate. Export. Enable. PPTP VPN. Enable again. VPN connections. System tools. Time settings. Get uh, from PC, get uh, from the Ethernet. OK. Enable daylight uh, saving time. Save again. LED control. Switch off, on, enable the night mode from 2. Diagnostics. Start. Firmware upgrade. Check for upgrades, up to date, browser, if you want to download the firmware and upgrade. Backup, restore, backup, restore, factory default restore, reboot, enable the time you want to reboot, every day, week or month, administration, old password, new Port for HTTP, enable, enable and that, remote, so many settings, local, remote, system log, log settings, save, CWMP settings, enable, disable, get RPC methods, CNMP settings, traffic monitor, Okay, let's go. You can choose, of course, the language, log out and reboot. Let's go at the basic, wireless, and I will change uh, my Wi Fi just to be connect more devices. And save. And at the quick setup again, there are other clients are connected. More and more, wired client IM, wireless, and here we can see 25 wireless client, the name, IP address, MAC address, next, you can rename of course and save, and add the advanced security and access control. Here you can choose which network you want to block and just block. There it is, two networks block it. Rename, delete. That was all. That's how you can adjust and set up your router from your browser. It was easy and definitely you have more options compared with the app. So many settings to adjust for your needs. Don't forget to watch my video unboxing and testing the internet speed 4G Blast router right in the corner. Until my next video, don't forget to subscribe, share this video and hit the notification bell. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.